Hey guys, it's Pastor Jim and Jennifer, and welcome to day seven of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. You know, one of the most life-giving recreational activities right here in Cleveland is the walking paths uh, in the metro parks. Perhaps you've walked or you rode your, your bikes on the trails, but anytime you go on a new trail, there's this thrill of learning about the trail, uh, where to cross and the, the streams or the campsites or the, the little hills you might climb. But here's the deal, as you're walking, you really only have the ability to see what's right in front of you. But here's the key, right before you start the path, if you'll take a moment and look at the map, the map will give you a perspective that shows you the whole trail. Now, if you start the trail without looking at the map, your perspective is limited, but that map gives you a full big perspective of where you're headed and where you're going. You know, as we continue our fasting, Many of us are praying for situations in which from our perspective, we cannot see the path ahead. From what we see, things may seem impossible. But you know, fasting has a way of orienting our perspective from what we see to what God sees. God knows the whole path of our lives from start to finish. In Isaiah 43, 19, it says this, that God invites us to look at things from his point of view. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. You know, as we dedicate ourselves to the Lord through fasting, he begins to change our perspective so that we can see what he is doing and how he is working. It's an incredible gift that God tells us that the path he leads us on, it just springs up. When our hearts are in tune with him, we're not going to miss his plan. He makes it obvious yeah. for us, and it springs up in ways that, that we never expected. You know, here's what I find, honey, is that as we fast, or when I begin to fast, my heart and our heart begins to change yeah. because we're gaining more of a godly perspective. Yeah. I'm exchanging my viewpoint for God's viewpoint. Mm -hmm. See, God already has a path picked out for me, for us. And as we begin to pray, he'll show us the way forward it's as simple and as clear as that. Yeah. As I spend time with him, his path, his new thing begins to spring forth. Can I pray Isaiah 43 mm. over you today? Yeah. See, I am doing a new thing. We declare that over your people today, that the, the things that we've been looking at, uh, the dry areas, the wastelands, we've been staring at them. We've been camping in those places. Today, we pitch up our tent. We pick it up and we, we move onward. We ask that you would give us a new perspective to see the new things that you're doing in our family, in our finances, in our mind, in our church, in our city, in our nation. We believe that you are in control and we choose to see the things that you are showing us and saying to us. Give us clear eyes. Give us ears to hear. Uh, Lord, I pray that we we'll even go one step further, that we will declare the things that you show us that we won't declare the negative things, but we'll declare the godly things, the things that you want to see happen on earth as it is in heaven. We pray this in your name, in Jesus' name. And everyone said, amen. 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 Hey, God bless you guys. We love you and we'll see you tomorrow.